Asus just launched the ROG phone and it is not just any other gaming phone. This one's got some seriously cool features that will actually enhance your gaming experience. In this video, we are gonna take a look at its top 5 killer features. Before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all things technology. So let's begin with what Asus calls the air triggers. My personal favorite and probably your favorite too if you are a hardcore gamer. Remember this recent video where I introduced you guys to a pair of controllers which you can use to play PUBG? Well, on the ROG phone, they are kind of built into the phone itself. There are two sensors on the right edge of the device. These work kind of like Apple's 3D touch. You press the button, it triggers an action. And they work on pretty much every game out there. You can change the pressure sensitivity. Assigning actions to the buttons is also super easy. So in FPS games, you can assign the buttons to uh, aim and shoot. In racing games, you can assign them to left and right or acceleration and brake. It's completely up to you. You can assign anything to the buttons. Uh, apart from these two, we've got one more trigger on the left hand side of the phone, with the help of which you can make use of squeeze functionality. Once again, you are free to assign this function to anything. I've set it to Google Assistant here. Next up, the display. This could very well be the best overall display in terms of the features it packs, at least among gaming phones. It's a full HD plus AMOLED display with HDR support. The panel is super bright, significantly brighter than the Razer Phone 2 and the Black Shark 2. The color accuracy is also quite good. It covers around 94% of the NTSC color gamut. It's a 90 hertz display with a response time of just one millisecond. So HDR support, brighter uh, AMOLED panel, high color accuracy uh, and quick response time. These things put the display a notch above other gaming phone displays. The next cool thing about the ROG phone is this tiny connector here, which includes a proprietary port and a USB type C port. What is this capable of? Well, you can use a number of gaming accessories with the phone via the connector kind of like the Moto Mods. There is this dock which helps mirror the content to a TV. A range of ports is also available on the dock. You can connect your TV, your speaker, and even your keyboard and mouse and play games. And then we have a gaming controller, which has a few extra buttons that you can assign to functions of your choice. But then there is one accessory which is included in the box. It has an actual cooling fan inside and helps dissipate heat. Now with a regular phone, as you keep playing a game for like half an hour or one hour, uh, the phone tends to heat a lot. So the processor tends to slow down. This is called thermal throttling. It happens on PCs as well. That's why on a proper gaming PC, we can see a lot of fans with good cooling solutions like air cooling or liquid cooling. On the ROG phone, there's a 3D vapor chamber system, which spreads the heat near the processor to all parts of the phone. And this cooling accessory keeps removing the heat. So even if you play high graphics games for like uh, two or three hours at a stretch, there won't be any thermal throttling. The phone will still handle the games quite well. It's not just that, with a normal flagship phone, playing games while charging the phone or using a pair of earphones is difficult. For example, on the OnePlus 60, when I charge the phone, I find it hard to hold the phone properly. And there's no headphone jack, so there's no point talking about earphones. But with ROG phone, this accessory has a Type-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom. So you can charge the phone, use headphones and still hold the phone comfortably and play games. And more importantly, the Type-C port here supports Quick Charge 4.0 and the adapter in the box also supports it. Didn't think I would talk so much about the tiny connector, but here we are. Anyway, moving on to the next killer feature, the design and the new user interface. It's called ROG UI. Basically, it's the Zen UI with some added features for better gaming experience. I don't want to go deep into the software features, but in a nutshell, it has gaming modes. It lets you set processor speed to individual games, which helps when you want to save battery. It lets you set any action to the squeeze function, like I mentioned before, and the UI itself looks like it's made for a gaming enthusiast. The design of the phone itself also indicates the same. It looks like a beast just how gamers would want it to be. The Vent, the Republic of Gamers logo, and most importantly, the glowing RGB logo, really, really cool. Last but not least, we have the Speedbent Snapdragon 845 chip that's clocked at 2.96 GHz, 
which is supposedly better than the regular 845 chip clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. Not a huge difference, but uh, I added this point to just emphasize on the fact that Asus worked really hard to make every single feature stand out to, to be the best. From the higher clocked Snapdragon 845 chip to the 90Hz display, HDR AMOLED display with super fast response time, to the included cooling accessory with quick charge 4.0, to the fantastic air triggers, it's not just an excellent gaming phone, it's an excellent flagship phone as well. So that's pretty much it. What do you guys think uh, is the optimal price? As in, how much would you be uh, willing to spend for this phone? Given that most flagships are super expensive these days, let me know in the comment section. I'm shooting this on 29th morning, so I'm not aware of the price right now. Expecting it to be around 60,000, 65 max. Uh, anyway, the exact price will be announced soon and I will add it in the description. Go check it out right now. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon as well to get notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from Technology Jock leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.